It's your boy Nguyen in the house, back with another bang on video. Well, ladies and gentlemen, Arsenal are playing Norwich City, and Arsenal have really named a very strong eleven, but a different eleven. It's again a back three: Kolasinac, David Luiz, and Skardran Mustafi with the wing back positions, and also, but this time, uh, Reese Nelson, Aubameyang, and Lacazette start along each. each uh, you know, uh, uh, they start together, so it's going to be a very interesting contest. But more on it. Keep watching the video. Arsenal wanted. Arsenal actually wanted to waive off 2.5 million euros bonus payment. Saint Etienne would have been uh, due for starting 17 games this season. Well, Arsenal wanted him uh, uh, Saliba in England for 10 days of physical test before the match, but Saliba has already started 16 games. Remi uh, let me remind you guys. And Saint Etienne refused to agree those terms, and so Saliba will not play in the final cup. But more importantly, I think uh, it's pretty much clear that well, uh, Arsenal have made the perfect choice in terms of uh, making it. Uh, uh, a, a right place wherein uh, you know you have to take care of your players so i think arsenal are completely right in it but moving on nicola pepe in the premier league in 2020 before the game against norwich city nine appearances three assists and three goals arguably arsenal's most important forward since the turn of the year and vivian medima's 2019-2020 Barclays FAWSL campaign was unbelievable. I think it is, I think she's unbelievable. She's played 14 games. She scored 16 goals and had 8 assists. 29 goals in 25 games across all competitions. She deserves to be the FWA Women's Footballer of the Year. That's 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 a no-brainer. Well, moving on, according to Di Marzio, Napoli are very close to signing Dominic Zobozolai. The Italian club are set to activate his 25 million euros release clause without selling any player. If Napoli are buying, I'm not buying this whole premise or this whole news in the first place. Well, uh, let's move on. Well, semi-final schedule, ladies and gentlemen, you have to come to know about it, but that the Emirates FA Cup semi-final fixtures have been fixed. Arsenal play Manchester City. We all know that, but it would be 7.45 p.m., British Standard Time on played to be played on 18th of July Saturday and uh, the next day that is Sunday 19th July 6th p.m. BST would be Manchester United versus Chelsea and from there on we will decide our finalists so if you guys haven't been hooked just let me know you guys get all the notifications on this this platform subscribe and you'll come to know about the future notifications as well well the key in the Arsenal Saint Etienne Saliba issue Arsenal need to pay we all have actually spoken about it but Here's the biggest, biggest news that Bellerin is seriously considering his future. So big money move overseas could be very tempting. Paris Saint-Germain are monitoring developments of the fullback. Bukayo Saka, ladies and gentlemen, has finally signed a new contract with Arsenal. Well, Arsenal have not at all explained or probably revealed the whole contract terms or how long is the contract. We'll come to know in the latest, uh, in, the, in the coming days. But more important than not... Here's what Bukayo Saka said about Mikel Arteta. He says, Mikel is amazing, you know. He manages to give you so much detail while at the same time being so clear. It's just amazing to have such a great coach. The future looks bright and that's why I'm happy to be here. And Saka went on saying that, I just want to say that I'm sorry that it's taken this long. You know, I've, I've, seen, I've seen how much it means to the fans. Over this time, I've seen how passionate they are, how loving they are. And it just means everything to me that I can make them happy. I hope I can continue to do that. And talking about uh, Saka says, uh, I want to thank the fans for their ongoing support. It means a lot to me. I hope this news makes them really happy that I've signed and extended my contract. I've signed the thing, made them happy. Yes, we all, everyone, everyone is commenting on his every image that signed the thing, buddy. And he did. And he says, I just promised that me and the team are going to try going forwards to give them much more to be happy about. Well, that's what you want to hear as a fan. We're talking about re-signing with Arsenal. He says, it's Arsenal, you know, come on. It's Arsenal. The stadium is great. The fans are great. The club is great. Everything about this club is great. I love playing for Arsenal, you know. I love playing for the coach, the fans, my teammates. I really believe in the philosophy that the boss is bringing and what he's building. And I'm just really excited to see where he's going to take us in the future. We all are, Bukayo. And, uh, uh, you know, uh, on feeling on it feeling right to continue his career at Arsenal, he says, I felt that it was right in my heart to extend my contract here. And I feel like this is going to be best for my development. And when I was at Hayland, I just remember always seeing a picture of Jack Wilshere on the walls. When I walked in every single day, I just used to tell myself that it's, possible to get into that first team that there's a pathway and talking about Unai Emery's influence Bukayo Saka said for starters I just want to say I have to mention Unai Emery because of the amount he believed in me the opportunities he gave me I'll forever be grateful for them and talking about Freddie Yunberg Saka says and then of course Freddie Yunberg who's always gone out of his way to advise me and make sure I'm improving every day these are the coaches I've played under before but Mikel is amazing you know he manages to give you so much detail and I actually mentioned that but 
more on it Michael Arteta has spoken about Bukayo Saka signing the new contract he says I'm delighted he fully deserves this new deal and I think he represents every value that this football club stands for Saka has come through the academy and earned his respect with hard work and accountability and you can see the progression that he is having as a player but as well as a person Saka is a player that his teammates really like that I admire and he is a big hunger uh, he has a big hunger to uh, become even better so I think it is perfect thing to do right now I'm not just talking about him as a player and how he has been educated but as a man as well because as I said he is the perfect example of what we are looking for and uh, talking about Bukayo Saka who who actually convinced Bukayo Saka do you think the fans no 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 there was one more person it was none other surprisingly David Luiz He says one player in particular I have to say is David Luiz he's a man with a big heart and he goes out of his way all that all the time to advise and help all the young players he is a very important member of our squad and Bukayo Saka tweeted out saying London is my home Arsenal my team I am so happy to finally announce my contract extension I love playing for this club and I'm looking forward to what the future holds the hard work continues so I can continue living my dream god is great well to which actually uh, tyrese john jules replied on twitter as well congrats brother and uh, if you won't believe it just as uh, you know uh, bukayo saka uh, you know signed the contract with arsenal his twitter account got verified it's really funny i don't know if it's linked or not i don't think so it's linked but it's unbelievable well also arsenal have appointed tim lewis a partner with clifford chance to the board as a non executive director The Cronkies say he will bring additional experience and skills starting with our work to come out of the current situation in as strong a position as possible. And Lewis actually played a key role in Cronkies investment of Arsenal in 2011 as he and he led the team that advised the owner on the deal which upped his stake to 63%. So I think uh, I think uh, I think the financial fair play rules can be managed by this guy if he does it in a very good way I think we can have a good future in terms of managing the books is concerned. Well If Arsenal form of their long standing interest Thomas Part is prepared to give serious consideration to joining Mikel Arteta's side and it has been said that uh, Thomas Part has discussed his move with friends advisors and teammates and is intrigued by it and Arsenal are not expected to take a firm decision on Alexander Lacazette's future until they have indications from Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang as to whether he intends to stay or not Well talking about Tim Lewis a lifelong Arsenal fan who's been recently appointed he says I am looking forward to the opportunity to work with Stan Josh the board and executive team to help take the club forward at this critical time. I think I think he can bail us out. I I, I think he can. Well, moving on. Talking about Bukayo Saka, Bukayo Saka the youngest player in the squad has provided 11 more assists 11 than any other Arsenal teammate across all competitions this season before the Norwich game because this uh, video is actually uh, shot before the Norwich game but all the Arsenal uh, players actually congratulated and were happy that the little chili little chili is exactly what Bukayo Saka is called in the Arsenal dressing room little chili here's here are the comments you can see uh, Aubameyang little chili Petit Piment congrats my little brother you deserve it when will you sign the thing bro when will you sign the thing Aubameyang And talking about Scott and Mustafi, uh, Scott and uh, says, "Congrats, bro! So we need to sign a new physio for just for you, so that anyone else can have treatment as well." <laughs> well, uh, also I can share with you. Uh, Granit Xhaka actually commented as well. So I think the, I love to see this, isn't it? We're well, talking about it. Everyone was happy. Everyone was present actually. Mikel Arteta, Edu Gaspar, Raul Sanjehi, his family, alongside Bukayo Saka during his contract extension signing, and Bukayo Saka was on the pitch at the Emirates. unbelievable and ian wright has shared an image of bukayo saka signing his new contract with four hearts that is so beautiful the legendary highbury striker is an unbelievable guy isn't he beautiful of a guy i talk about bukayo saka stats 21 games 1441 minutes played four assists this is the prem stats 588 passes 82.1% pass accuracy 58 dribbles attempted 53.4% dribble success nine shots Shot conversion is zero, but hit would work once. Crosses fifty one. Cross accuracy thirteen point seven three. This guy is unbelievable, isn't it? Wow. And Bo- Grand Shaka said that Congress Bro, but please uh, don't change. It's really, really great, isn't it? Well, talking about it, Emmanuel Adebayor has been shown the door by his new club after just four appearances. Well, Paraguay inside Olympia in February. I mean, he's had a very uh, uh, unbelievable career, isn't it? Well, talking about it, Arsenal will wear this special jersey. Well, dedicated to. Well, we all know Theo Foley. It's really great, isn't it? 
Uh, beautiful. This club is unbelievable. That's exactly what uh, Arsenal also tweeted out saying. For you, Theo, we'll wear black armbands and hold a special moment of silence to remember former coach Theo Foley tonight. And that is beautiful. Well, these were the news of the day. I hope you enjoyed whatever came your way. All the views and news and everything about Arsenal comes to this platform every single day, twice. So sit back, relax and enjoy all, all the news. And make sure you subscribe for this uh, Awesome content which comes on every day twice. So I will see you in my next video. Until then, cheers. And don't forget to subscribe and watch the Arsenal because I believe Arsenal will beat Norwich City. It could be 2 0, it could be 3 0, it could be 3 1 as well because uh, the way Todd Cantwell moves and uh, Godfrey, Ben Godfrey tackles, I love what they do. But I believe Arsenal will win this. I don't know. There is some sort of uh, uh, real, real uh, uh, confidence in me that Arsenal will beat Norwich tonight. Cheers.